Well, it's kind of freezing out today. Uh, we started a fire in the fireplace, and then I realized I have no fireplace tools. So, what I'm going to do today is we're going to go ahead and make some. We're going to use uh, some different techniques in order to make them quickly and more efficiently, and then get them into uh, use as soon as possible. So, stay with me. Uh, I'm going to try to narrate this one, not like the last couple. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. So I just remembered, actually, um, the last time I fired up my forge, which was only a couple of days ago, that it sounded like my propane was getting a little low. So I hope I have enough to finish this project. We'll find out.
I've got some room, some areas that I gotta kind of thin back out a little bit. But that's okay. I think that's gonna give us the eight inches that we're looking for. There's still plenty of still plenty of material to work with to make the uh, range of the tones. So okay. Okay, I'm a little worried about a spot on this that it seems like it has a crack. spots and you probably aren't going to be able to see it right there. I'll show you maybe in the next clip here. Right about there, looks like there might be a slight crack, but I have an arc welder. And if you remember what I said, here's all your jewels. Okay, yeah. You can kind of see it. Well, it might be better to use the chop. Sitting right there. I don't know how that's going to react, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as we go. So this step right here, what we're doing is we're preparing, we're getting everything set up for the actual bend. So what I'm doing here is basically isolating that spot so that when it curls around, it'll be ready to go for the actual uh, circular bend that I'm going to put using well, my makeshift uh, bandrol. It'll make sense in a minute. separate these so I can start isolating and marking about where everything needs to be and then finishing up so that the tongs, and I'm actually going to get the hammer and move this over a little bit, set up so that I can draw them out and then connect them together. I think that'll be alright. Now we separate them. So 
so I got just a little bit ahead of myself uh, and forgot to hit the, the record button. Or actually, well, get it ready to hit the record button for that matter. But essentially all I've done is try to get this part of the reins about the same as each other and then start working on isolating out the boss. Now, I know I can hear a bunch of the blacksmiths in the community already saying that this part of the rain ought to be up here. I agree. Um, however, when you're using a hydraulic press to do that, it tends to push them about the center. And even still, that's off a little bit. But that's okay. We can work with that. No problem. So as you can see, I've got this little spot right here. That's where the set down goes. And the rest of the tongs will come out this way, of course. But what I'm going to do now is I isolate that by hitting, placing the edge of this piece on the edge of the anvil, and then just gently working it, well, gently with a hammer, that is. That's kind of the start of it. is I'm going to turn it into a hook so that when eventually I make something to hang these from, they'll have something to hang from. So, the outside, and we're just gonna, see, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm doing these sweeping kind of gestures. You can also tell that it's kind of been twisting as I've been hammering, so. That's not a big deal, though. Go and kind of just give it a little, couple of good taps on the end there. Okay, for this part, what we're doing is we're making the rivet to join the two pieces together. I've got a piece of 3 8 inch round stock in there that's cut to a certain length, and I've got a stop in here so I don't have to waste this much uh, material. So, we're picking up the fire, I'll put the not as hot end, as you can see, maybe you can't, I don't know, in first, and then the reason why it's so long is because I'd like to have a little extra room, because I'll be moving it as, I, as, I, as I'm rounding it over. So, let's get this thing done. To make sure it's actually... Alright, 
that's about it right there. figured out by now, my battery on my camera died. But that's okay, you really miss a whole lot anyway. All I did was finish up the rivet, uh, where I riveted up the boss, and then just kind of tidied everything up so that it, the uh, the whole thing kind of right straight on a straight line. And that was really it. Cleaned it off with a brush. Um, I did go back, like I had said I was going to, and uh, some of the spots, the cold shuts and whatnot, that I wasn't really comfortable with, that I didn't really over like, I cleaned those out with my die grinder, and then just filled them in with some weld, and, um, you know, it's not pretty, but it works, so why not? Um, got a chance uh, to actually use them in a little bit, uh, of course, uh, my children had decided they're going to burn up all of our firewood, mostly. Uh, but, you know what, we went and got some more, and so I'll have a chance to utilize these here in the near future. But that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and like, and let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the description. Uh, remember, all my blacksmiths, if it's just because it's cold out, doesn't mean you're dehydrated, so make sure you're drinking your water. Always wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you in the next video.